if I get an idea, I can switch, switch over here and I want to work through some something, I can go in here to my mind map. I can make it horizontal or vertical. And on this one, when I hit enter, it'll put another uh, section over here. If I want to go down from here, I can. So I can click off, I can zoom in, you can go through here, and you're going to see we have uh, different colors that you can make this branch. You can add a link to somewhere if you want. So now when we click that link, it'll take us there. You can collapse all the children down if you want to kind of clean it up a little bit. And of course, you can expand them. You can change the lines from dash to outline. And just like anything else, you can make a comment. And just like all the other sections, if you want to throw a quick icon in here, let's click, drag. And at any point, you know, while you're while you're doing your thing, uh, if you want to make a sticky note for yourself, you can just drop down down here to sticky notes. Or you can click, you know, one, two, three, or four to quickly go between those. You can add a card, you can add a stack. So you can just add a card in here. You can expand this, so you can add a description. You can add a comment. You can assign it to anybody in your workspace. You can add links, you can delete, you can change the color, all that stuff. So this can be a little interactive sticky note you have. And like I mentioned before, if you hop back out here to your uh, examples folder, you can go in here to the flow chart that they've set up. You can see a flow chart example. Getting started will show you how to do all the things, so you can add custom shapes and you can just go through this. And then there's the link to the full list of keyboard shortcuts. Here's some cool wireframes. A little bit more interesting example than I did. But as you can see, super easy, super quick. And the options are really, really intuitive. Like I mentioned before, if you grab multiple objects, it's going to let you have access to anything you can do with these objects. And as far as intuitive goes, it's like, okay, alignment. I have multiple objects selected, so of course I may want to align these. So it's going to have alignment right here, and you can very quickly go through and align them how you need to. Nesting is super intuitive. Bringing things forward and backwards super intuitive. It tends to stay kind of sh pretty sharp looking because, you know, the options are a little bit limited, but in a way that allows you to be, you know, focus more on what you're trying to create as opposed to, you know, being overwhelmed by, you know, a palette of 256 colors or something like that. Or a whole bunch of dashed line types and stuff like that. Anyway, been having a lot of fun with this. Thought it was cool. Figured I'd show it off if uh, it's interesting to anybody out there that is into this sort of thing.